Good day everyone. Let's try to answer an item on Canadian Mathematical Olympiad. And let's start. Here's the question. Solve for the value of x. We have x squared plus x squared all over x plus 1 squared equals 3. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video and if you're ready, here's the solution. I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Now, let's have our equation again. We have x squared plus x squared all over x plus 1 squared equals 3. Now, the second term, x squared all over x plus 1 squared can be written as x over x plus 1 quantity squared. Next, what we're going to do is to add 1 on the numerator and subtract 1. The purpose is to have x plus 1 on the numerator and x plus 1 on the denominator so that we can separate this fraction as follows. So x plus 1 minus 1 all over x plus 1 can be written as x plus 1 all over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. Next, we can now cancel out x plus 1 on the numerator and x plus 1 on the denominator, provided that we set that x is not equal to negative 1. The reason is, if x equals negative 1, we have 0 all over 0, and we don't want to have that 1. So that, we need to set that x is not equal to negative 1. Therefore, we can now cancel out x plus 1 on the numerator and x plus 1 on the denominator. And we have x squared plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared equals 3. Next, what we're going to do is to expand 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. Take note that if we have a plus or minus b quantity squared, it is equal to a squared plus or minus 2 times ab plus b squared. In our given, a equals 1 and b equals 1 over x plus 1. Therefore, we have 1 minus 2 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. Bring down x squared and bring down 3. Now, here's the tricky part. What we're going to do is to make the left-hand side a perfect square trinomial. Now, to do that, we need to add 1 both sides. If we do that, we get x squared plus 2 minus 2 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 squared equals 4. Next, combine these two terms, we have 2 minus 2 over x plus 1. If we do that, we get 2x plus 2 minus 2 all over x plus 1. Next, positive 2 and negative 2 cancel out and this will give us 2x all over x plus 1. Now take note that 2x all over x plus 1 can be written as 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1. Now this is the same thing as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, wherein a is equals to x and b equals 1 over x plus 1. Therefore, we can factor this expression as x plus 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. Now at this point, let's focus on this result. So we have x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared equals 4. Take the square root both sides and we get that x plus 1 over x plus 1 equals positive or negative 2. Therefore, we have two cases. The first one is x plus 1 over x plus 1 equals 2 and the other case is x plus 1 over x plus 1 equals negative 2. Now let's have the first case. To clear the denominator, multiply the whole equation by x plus 1. If we do that, we get x squared plus x plus 1 equals 2x plus 2. Now equate to 0, and we have x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Now at this point, we will use quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is equal to x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in our equation, a is equal to 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals negative 1. Now, substitute all the given values, and we get that x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And we're done on the first case. Now, let's have the second case. Do the same thing. Multiply the whole equation by x plus 1. If we do that, 
we get x squared plus x plus 1 equals negative 2x minus 2. Next, equate to 0, and we have x squared plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. Again, we will use the quadratic formula. In our equation, a equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals 3. Now, substitute all the given values, and we get that x equals negative 3 plus or minus i multiplied by the square root of 3 all over 2. And we're done on the second case. Therefore, we have four possible values for x. Namely, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, negative 3 plus i square root of 3 over 2, and negative 3 minus i multiplied by the square root of 3 all over 2. And we're done.